Hey guys, it's Lex here, and I'm, I've actually just got to say I have some free game codes. Um, well, I have one at the moment, which I'll, I'll mention in this video, but I have got a couple of game codes from Humble Bundle and stuff for Steam. Quite a few. I think I've got Fear, Fear 2, Fear 3, a few other games that I've, I've already owned, and I've got these spare codes if anyone wants them. So uh, the one that I do have, that I know I have right now, if anyone's interested, is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, Sonic Spinball and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and they're for Steam. Uh, they're part of the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive collection so um, when you redeem them it'll install Mega Drive collection to your PC and um, when you open it up it'll say here are the games you own. So every time you buy a new game it adds to that collection it just updates the software. So um, I've already got those games so you will need a Steam account that's free you'll need the Steam client to run it it's also free um, if anyone's interested uh, just tell me in the comments and I'll send you the code. Um, the only thing is if there's more than one person uh, asking for the code, I will have to just take the names at random. So if there's two or more people, it'll just be a case of any, mini, many, mo and the first name it lands on. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, do tell me and I'll hopefully have more keys to give away because they're just sitting there getting wasted. So um, if anyone's interested, do let me know in the comments below and enjoy the review. I can just imagine the disappointed viewers there when they saw my face pop up before the intro. Yeah, he's going to rant about something. He's going to call someone a cunt. It didn't happen. So anyway, guys, here's Lex with another fragrance review. And this one is a gem from the house of Paco Rabanne, which is, used to be my number one favourite house of all time before I discovered Tom Ford and Bogart and Creed and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so this was Ultraviolet Man. There's also Ultra Red Man, which is meant to be a bit raver. Um, so yeah, so this was released in 2001 by the house of Pac Ban, and this one um, seems to get a bit of respect. It's not too well known, it's not super popular like One Million in Black XS, but it certainly deserves a place. It's got one of the most unique looking, looking bottles I've ever seen. Now I have wiped this down before the review, but I warn you this is a fingerprint magnet. This is almost as bad as the, if not as bad as the Amen special, the metal amen flask the refillable one that thing comes with a cleaning cloth it's that bad and it stinks as well when you when you don't thing it so let's get a look at this bottle uh, just the camera here so we have ultraviolet man there we have our information on the bottom we have everything that's about it a nice purple liquid in there there's a sprayer it's pretty basic it looks like something that a star trek said phasers to stun so how does this thing spray? Well, this thing actually has instructions on the box to tell you how to spray it. Yeah, because let's face it, people are going to think, what the fuck? But yeah, it has instructions to tell you how to spray it. So you spray it like a gun, like a, a nail gun. A big whoosh comes out. A fucking, it's like a bug sprayer, man. A ton of this stuff comes out. So how does this smell? So before we get into that, Fugranska has a very... Um, Nice description of this. Let me take a drink here. I've got some root beer. I used to think it was horrible, but now I've just started care getting used to it. It's like drinking fucking petrol or some shit, I swear. I just put that back. So this is an interesting masculine fragrance, more intense and provocative than the feminine version. Grey amber is a limelight enhanced by notes of mint, red butter and moss. The bottle design deserves attention. You hear that? It deserves attention. If I ever find out that one of you guys isn't giving this attention, I'm I swear to God! I swear to God, how dare you not give attention? Someone put the work into this! <laughs> Just like the bottle for the feminine person, this one was made using glass, silicone and metal. Why do we need to know that? That's like saying, ha, huh, this screen is made out of silicone chips and this bottle's made out of plastic. Fucking the grass is green! <laughs> Purple is the colour of the third millennium, the age of Aquarius, according to astrologers, and Pac Raban himself. Well, Pac Raban is an astrologer. Damn, I just thought he was a designer. So let's move on to the smell. It does smell very floral. It's almost feminine. Quite easily feminine. I mean, if, uh, if I, I caught some wearing this, I would think it was a, a woman's perfume. But it's easily unisex. It's got a nice charm to it. The dry down is really nice. It's got a really sexy dry down, in my honest opinion. Very heavy on the florals, and it's very reminds me of these flowers my mother used to put on the table, and I hated. But this really grew in me. I wasn't too fan of this, but the dry down with this is just absolutely incredible. 
Now, I'd like to mention this is very synthetic. I mean, I'm, if, if you want a definition of a synthetic scent, this is, um, let's say Yolp is like the number one synthetic scent. This is easily number two or three. However, it's very well blended. Um, it's a very good example of how to, to use synthetic ingredients to their absolute maximum potential. This is a great scent made out of everything this is synthetic as fuck. There's nothing natural about this, but it's blended so damn well. And it's a real gem. It deserves a lot of attention. I really wish I'd got Ultra Red Man. Someone was selling it on a Facebook group and I didn't uh, didn't buy it. I felt like a fucking move on for the next year after that. So we'll see. Um, even worse than Reef Goshen Tense. You still have that, man. You know, hook your brother up. Uh, so let's get started. So um, smell-wise, really, really nice. Now, performance. Performance, this one's actually really good. I get um, 12 hours plus with this one. Longevity projection is also pretty damn decent. Um, projection is weird. You might think, hey, it's not going. You'll be digging your nose and not be able to smell it, but it is projecting. It does project pretty damn well, this one, for a good while. Longevity is excellent. So, moving on. How many sprays with this one? I'm going to recommend four sprays. This can get very, very cloying and thick and... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Not oppressive. Obnoxious. Um, yeah, that if you overdo it. So, four sprays are just for the weather and situation. Now, age group. What age can you sort of wear this one in? I'm going to recommend this for someone in their mid-twenties to late-twenties. Um, preferably late-twenties. All depends on you. You could probably rock this 18-19. Uh, it, would, it would work pretty well. But it all depends on you, and if you don't overdo the sprays, it will smell heavenly on, on, any, on anyone of any age and any gender, to be quite honest. But I recommend someone in their mid to late 20s. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. So, we've covered age group, how many sprays. Uh, Season-wise, where can you wear this one? Well, I actually recommend this one for spring. However, you can wear it in spring, autumn and winter, but do not wear this in summer. I absolutely, one sniff of this, you realise why I'm saying that, but... Spring is the scent for this. Um, a cold, nippy spring day. This just works really well. It also works in autumn and winter really well, but spring is just, it just smells of spring. Not as much as, say, Green Ivy's Tweed um, or something along those lines, but you know what I mean? Um, it's got a really nice, imagine going through the park or something, you know? So, moving on. So, situation-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear this one to work? I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe with one spray, but it can actually... Maybe in an office environment, but I really wouldn't recommend it too much. There are simpler, cleaner scents out there to wear for it. Now, for a date, can you wear this on a date? Hell, yes. Um, I, I actually recommend that if you're going on a date with this, you wait half an hour to an hour before leaving the house because then it'll start to die down into that dry down. And that's the thing. This dry down, when this starts to, to simmer down a bit, it smells absolutely heavenly. It smells 10 times better than it smells on initial spray. The dry down with this one is uh, phenomenal. Um, it's up there. Kuros has got one of the best dry downs I've ever sniffed. And this is up there with Kuros as far as dry downs go. I mean, really. And I think it's what really great for a gate. A date. Really great for a gate. Wow. I'd like to buy one of those ultraviolet man gates, please. It's, it's, it's fine now if they have them. Uh, hi there. It's me again. Listen, do you have any of those ultraviolet man gates? No, I, no, I didn't eat those mushrooms again. I'm serious. Okay, you don't ask oh, me. Well. What, what were the ultra red ones? Okay, you're blocking my number. I will fuck you too. Never doing that again. <laughs> so, moving on. Um, clubbing. Can you wear this clubbing? I actually think you could. Depends on the club. It's got good performance. But, um, it probably, if your intention is pulling, which most people do, I don't go clubbing because I'm an antisocial prick and I can't handle my booze very well without wanting to fucking punch someone, as you probably know. But, <laughs> we'll see. But, um, it could work, to be quite honest. Um, but, you know, you're on that point where you'll probably overspray it to get extra performance and it'll go from, I want to have sex with you to fuck off that shit's clawing as fuck. You know, as she walks away, goes home with a guy waving 10 sprays of yolk. Get my drift? But it's entirely up to you. Casual wear. Can you wear this casually? Hell yes, it's a work for going out for a, you know, going out for some fast food, chilling around the house, watching some hentai, you know. Tentacle porn, stuff like that, you know, dirty bastard. I never watch any things like that. I'm not a dirty bastard at all. <coughs> so, moving on. Casual wear would be fine. Now, formal wear, you've got a suit, a wedding, something like that. I think it would be really nice with a suit. But remember, the rule, same as the date. Do not overspray and wait for that dry down. Wait 30 minutes before you leave the door. And this will smell fantastic with a suit. Don't overspray. Wait for the dry down. And don't be a fucking idiot. And that's how this will smell great on you. No shit. 
and make sure it's a nice suit. There's no point wearing a nice scent if you've got like a $10 suit that's hanging off you and you look like one of the, the extras from one of these budget gangster movies that were made in the 70s, you know? Maybe you could just rock it with a leather jacket, a shirt and some, and some shoes, but hey, suit's a suit. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a really nice, unique scent from Paco Ban, which really deserves a bit more attention. Uh, for the bottle alone, the bottle is uh, magnificent. Um, probably not my favourite as far as, um, you know, let's say you've got this sitting up there next to your, your Creed's and your Tom Ford's and this sitting there, it looks a bit out of place, but i got to admire the originality with this bottle design. I mean, it looks like something like a Star Trek, you know, the guy with the visor? Oh yes, yes, oh, scanning, scanning. <laughs> Set phases to stun. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message. And if you're a lucky bastard who does not have a Google Plus account, not only am I jealous of you, but you can contact me on Facebook, believe it or not. <laughs> what a miracle. Um, and send me a message there. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, keep on smelling fly. But I don't fucking spray 30 sprays of this in summer and wonder why no one wants to suck your dick. Jesus. Keep on smelling fly. Take me to the ocean, live a little supreme Take me to the hot summer